Hello, this video is about how to create a report like this one. Hit plus and see details of a person of this project and then hide details back. If you want to create a report like this, you need to follow these steps. First, create your data on sheets, data, projects and persons. Let's look at projects first. It's just an ID, a unique ID of each row of, of your projects and some columns with data. Persons are the same. Person ID, name and some additional details for each person. I've just auto-generated this data. And next, the key is sheet data with this table. Project ID refers to person that is present in this ID. It's like nested doll. You have projects and you have some people related to this project. And here, for example, project 4 has four people inside. And next, uh, you select this data and you create your pivot table. Go to menu data uh, and pivot table and that's it. You create it on your existing sheet. For example, in here in sheet code pivot plus formulas in my case. And you create a pivot table as usual. Here how you do it. All it has is just two columns. Columns with project ID and person ID. You need to click repeat row labels for project ID because these columns are actually with data, three total and so forth. And when I click plus sign, you see these hidden columns have person ID one and two, and this column has also project ID. And that's how it works. I'll hide these columns again, and project ID real is here. It's also a formula, it just refers to this column and says, hey, if we have some text here, then combine it to number, just to remove this total. When I click plus sign, I've got number, but I, when I click minus again, I got number and this total auto-generated text. That's why I need also this formula to convert all my IDs to projects. And this column just takes all the data from sheet projects and gives me them this data in the correct order. Project A, B, C, D, and I need columns 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so forth. And also one column that counts number of each person in sheet data and says this project have two persons, this three and this four and when I click I can see all their details here. And uh, let's see how I'll hide this column with real project ID too because we don't need it for our final report. And here we have the formula which says if this column with age and we can recall that the column age has IDs of each person is a part of our pivot table and when it's empty just use hippen and otherwise use this VLOOKUP formula and that's all it's this simple and by the way the cells have also some values and to hide them, I've used conditional formatting. When I select this, I see my conditional formatting rule. When A6 with dollar by A has the same as A5, I just color this with white. So you don't see this on the screen. And I can use not a column A, but column with our IDs, column J, and it will give me more correct result. I'll correct it with J. 
hit done. Okay, because product project IDs are always unique, and I'll get the correct result. And let's combine this all together and see the final report now. Will it work after my modification? Yes. When I click plus sign here or here, I have details each person that relates to this project. And that's it, thank you.